Hi guys, this is a video about a common misconception that is actually thought as a fact. It is given in your textbooks, it is given in almost everything, every science textbook. If there is a topic called water, it will be written. Water is transparent, water is odorless and water is like a solvent for almost everything. But the solvent thing is right, but transparent and odorless, not, odorless is also right, I'm pretty sure. But transparent is... Uh, water is not transparent. See, you might be thinking that like, I've heard people say that the water is not transparent because it's blue. Because of the sea, and there's an explanation that it reflects off the sky. Yeah, that's kind of true. Water reflects the sky, and that's why it's blue. But it's still blue. So, like, just imagine this. You have, say water was actually blue. Then even, even if, if the water in the sea reflected from the sky, it was still blue. Saying that, not saying that, like, if, if water reflects from the sky, reflects light coming from the sky, and looks blue, doesn't mean that it's not blue. It means that, it may be some color, but we are seeing this blue because of the sky. So we don't know. So what we do is we take water away from Earth and put it somewhere else. And what we find out is that water is actually a little hazily blue. If you want to know about this, you can see these lakes, which don't exactly reflect the sky in the color the sky is in, but they reflect in different colors, like a different kind of blue, more deep sea blue or something like that. I shouldn't use the word sea because that might give some misconception again. So just saying water is not transparent, It, it nothing can be truly transparent except maybe a vacuum or something. This vac but vacuum is not transparent. Why? Because vacuum is nothing. And you, you, transparent is some object which is transparent and vacuum is nothing. It means absence of everything. Of course, only absent. Of course, it's going to be transparent. What do you mean? So even glass is not totally transparent if you hold a glass for a long time, like a billion years, it will stop becoming transparent, you'll be able to like, it'll be opaque. And even water is not transparent. So everything always reacts with light in a certain way. Like it refracts light in a certain way. So when you actually look at water, it reflects it refracts and shows you a color when it's blue. Just like why the sky is blue, with the reflection of the sun's rays. Just like that water also refracts light in such a way that it looks blue. So actually water is blue. It's not colorless. It's not transparent and colorless. It has a color and it's kind of translucent on the small, transparent on the small scale. But if you take on the big scale, like if you take a really big can of water, like say two miles long or so, and you try to look from one end to the other end in a total like proper way, but there's no fishes in the middle or nothing, just clean distilled water, you won't be able to see the other side, you will see a distorted image of everything. Because, and you will see a little blue. Because water is blue. So, yeah, so that's a common misconception. But in your science textbook, please don't say this, your science teacher don't say, no, water is blue, it's not colorless. In the small scale, in normal conditions, like you don't, consider a two mile span of water. You just consider like a glass of water to be able to see through it normally. It's like, it's really, really transparent, but it's not exactly fully transparent. It's like 99% transparent or whatever. It's kind of like translucent. So, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you tell your friends about this or you can not tell your friends.